last minute decided to vlog this. Why? Why? I don't know. Um, it's because it's a nice car. It's got a lot of potential. Um, it's going to be seen a drag battle, so you know what? Why not? Let me open the bottle for you, mate. So, this is Mark's car. 2.9 litre built motor. Um, Samsona 6 speed. Built and tuned by Gem. I believe it should run into the eights once they fix up a few little things. A bit more seat time, heaps of potential. So he brought it to us just to give it a quick clean, but we talked him into giving a bit of a paint correction too because you'll see on the sunlight. All the holograms as well. And we said, mate, you can't be driving around like that. Like, you gotta get a few bits and pieces painted, but until then, you gotta you gotta drive this time. You can't have swirls. It's going to the drag battle in a month's time, so we said, look, if we're gonna work on it, we're gonna do it half properly at least. So we'll give it a, a single stage paint correction, get rid of 90% of that, present it really well, then we'll just maintain it for him until he does get it painted, and then we can, you know, ceramic coat it or whatnot. So, hey Rob, are you ready? Huh? Are you ready? Yeah, always. always. Give us a quick demonstration how rough the paint is on, on the bonnet here. How rough? The sound. Rough as a pineapple, man. So this is this is a clay mitt. Yeah, Soap it up mitt. first. Now we flip it to the other side, which has the clay mitt on it. Let's listen to that sound. So yes, that would scratch it but we're paint correcting it, so it doesn't matter. But those people that are out there claying their car, then waxing it. Not always the best option. No. Because you're essentially lifting the contamination. If it's tough paint, it may not mirror it. But yeah. yeah. But you're lifting the contamination and it's sticking to obviously the clay mitt. So, don't do it. Now regarding claying, or is it, if you're cleaning a car dry or if you're not in the washing period like that, right, where it's soapy and wet and all that, you can just use our spray wax or anyone's spray wax or quick detailer. Pretty much it just acts like a lubricant. If you want lubricant in between your clay mitt or your clay bar to the paint, of course you will severely scratch it. So that lubricant will help it slide. Isn't that right? Well, I didn't even hear what you said. You don't have to, just, huh? you always gotta be ready. If you haven't tried, yeah, good one. If you haven't tried this yet, highly recommend it. I can only imagine how much sugar's in. Anyway, let's not worry about the sugar content. But um, very nice. Tell us what's happening. So we've done a test patch here and there before we clayed it and washed it. And now we've, when we washed it and we clayed it, and how we were talking about before, how claying can put mirroring marks. They're not swell marks, but mirroring marks. So if you look directly in the sun, there's no swells. And even over there, if you look directly in the sun, there's no swells. But when you look at its reflection, you'll see there's all the mirroring marks. Because obviously friction, and it's a hard surface, it's, it's yeah, so you scratches can, back in it. You can just pick it up on camera, that shiny bit there, as we go back and forth. And we've used soap, we've used the, the actual loop, the claying loop, properly. And this is how the paint was And that before. was a brand new clay mint as well. It's okay. These, look, these paint, this paint's not that hard, mm. keep in mind, but you will, there's still a chance you will put mirroring marks in it. See?
trying not to go on the deep end I don't think you wanna give me I've been trying not to go on the deep end I don't think you wanna give me a reason I've been trying not to go on the deep end I don't think you wanna give me Haven't used this in a while, eh? Ancient stuff, mate. In a while. Good stuff. Hand wax. What's that? These days it's all ceramic coating and spray coatings and... But we're going old school on this one. Bit of hand wax. Get a bit of longevity out of it. So, um, when you're hand waxing, you want to prime the pad a bit first. So you want to use a bit of an excessive amount. And then try to do this one-handed. One sec. Fold it, mush it all in, and then just tap it. That spreads it all over the pad, and then you use it. This stuff's really good. You can let it sit on the paint, providing you're not in the sun. You can let it sit in the paint for um, a few minutes as it hardens and firms up and attaches itself to the um, paintwork and it's safe on pretty much most rubbers and uh, trims. Right, like your normal wax. I haven't used this stuff in ages. Alright. You get pretty good spread out of it as well. Um, apply it all. Let it sit for a bit now. And come back and wipe it off. Osrin. Re black. Now this stuff comes out like honey. And just apply it on like that. And it dries to a touch dry finish. So there's no residue or anything like that. Hey, catch! Don't mind Rob catch. screaming at the dog. That's before. Come on. That's after. Just about done. The whole car has had a single stage paint correction, hand wax applied, uh, door jams are cleaned up, engine base tidied up. Restored the, uh, the front lip. It's a little bit damaged, but a couple of scuffs, but come up good. Um, paint up all the wheels. Looks presentable now. It's ready, ready for a couple of events and that, and when it's ready to go full hard out, 
then we'll um, attack it. Yeah. <laughs>